Now let's talk about the tough stuff. We are on the precipice of a government shutdown right now. And I've been here in DC all week on the House floor with Republicans. And I cannot tell you how much in chaos they are. Now, when government shutdowns happen, people sometimes say, well, why can't Republicans and Democrats just get along and why can't they just pass a bill? Well, the issue with this is that it's this shutdown is not because Republicans are disagreeing with Democrats. It's because Republicans are fighting amongst themselves. The Republican Party, you kind of have these Marjorie Taylor Greens of the world and the most extreme people in the Republican Party have basically taken over the party and they are fighting with all the other Republicans in the party. I can't even say that they're fighting with the moderates because let's be very clear, almost every single Republican uh, in the Republican conference is supporting trying to ban abortion. They're trying to strip trans people from the right to exist. They're trying to, you know, strip our ability, take books out of schools and, and engage in book banning. So I, I'm not going to call them moderate, but the most extreme of these folks are, are just fighting with every other member of the Republican Party. And so the bill hasn't even moved out of the Republican Party yet. They can't negotiate with Democrats who have the House because they haven't passed a bill on their own yet either. And when they say, oh, you know, why can't Republicans and Democrats get along? In order to get any Democratic votes on this bill, um, you have to let go of some of the most extreme principles. And then in addition to that, the deal was already made. A couple of months ago, you may have heard something in the news about the debt limit and making a deal and all of these things. That's what this is about. President Biden cut a deal with Republicans and Republicans had all of these demands. For example, the restarting of student loan payments was one of the Republican demands in order to keep the government open. And Biden had to agree to that in order for us to raise the debt limit, the debt ceiling, and in order for us to keep the government open. And the deal was, we're gonna do things that we don't like. We're gonna do things that we don't want to do. Um, and But Republicans have control of the House. Good morning, friends. This is bad news. The House of Representatives have yet to reach a deal as a government shutdown deadline approaches. Congress has just nine days left to finalize an agreement, leaving millions of Americans at risk of being negatively affected. Experts say that major spending cuts will likely have to be approved. My dear friends, please do me a big favor and watch until the end of this video to hear about all of the details. Also, to say thank you for being part of this community. In a video later today, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on Dearish Friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Just hours after another setback for House Speaker Kevin McCarthy in his quest to avert a government shutdown, members are headed home for the weekend, signaling that with just nine days to go, there is no funding deal in sight. According to House Majority Whip Tom Emmer's office, if votes are scheduled for Friday or the weekend, members will be given ample notice members will be on call throughout the weekend. Earlier this week, the House failed for the second time this week to bring up the GOP defense spending bill for debate and another crushing defeat for Speaker McCarthy. Members of a group of Republican hardliners once again voted against GOP leadership and the majority of their party in a 212 to 216 vote. 
Those five Republicans cited a variety of reasons, all linked to frustration with how Speaker McCarthy has handled the government funding fight. Speaker McCarthy and GOP leaders will be forced to once again negotiate with the holdouts on the Pentagon bill, historically the least controversial spending bill, and may have to modify it. With this development, Kevin McCarthy looks increasingly unable to control the floor, and Congress and the government remain on a path towards a government shutdown at the end of this month. House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries slammed House Republicans for paralyzing Congress. A government shutdown is increasingly likely as time runs out for Congress to act. It has until September 30th, 2023 to pass the bills needed to fund our government or approve a short-term measure while they continue to negotiate. So while the House is no longer expected to vote the remainder of this week, a small group of House Republicans is expected to continue negotiations throughout the weekend. However, votes are likely not expected now before next Tuesday. It is also likely the House will finally take up the 11 out of the 12 appropriation bills that must pass before the end of this year. McCarthy and GOP leaders had hoped a compromise around government funding unveiled Wednesday night would bring all Republicans behind the defense spending bill. But that clearly did not happen. During a more than two-hour meeting on Wednesday night, McCarthy outlined a new short-term plan to fund the government that will include deeper cuts. Many Republican hardliners have said they will not vote for a continuing resolution unless it had conservative policies attached to it, even if the continuing resolution had passed in the House. The Senate would not have likely accepted the new proposal. So, dear friends, do you think that a government shutdown will occur? Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. According to Reuters, many U.S. government services would be disrupted and hundreds of thousands of federal workers will be furloughed without pay. If Congress fails to provide funding for the fiscal year starting on October 1st, workers deemed essential would remain on the job but without pay. The SSA would continue to issue retirement and disability benefits and payments would continue under the Medicare and Medicaid health programs. The Veterans Administration would continue to pay veterans benefits. The Small Business Administration would not be able to issue any new loans. The loans for businesses hurt by natural disasters will still continue. Most employees of FEMA would remain on the job but the agency would risk running out of funds for disaster relief and long-term recovery projects. In the 2018 to 2019 government shutdown, the White House furloughed 1,100 of 1,800 staff in the executive office of the president. Some offices, such as the National Security Council, continued at full strength, while others like the Office of Management and Budget were skilled back sharply. Well, my magnificent and most marvelous friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this morning. My dear friends, please make sure that you do stay tuned because in a video later today, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, dear friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you, and have a wonderful and very blessed Friday.